Hey guys, what's going on? So I decided to do this other video, which is going to be released most likely on Sunday um, for the Dragon Ball Super Universe Survival Saga Tournament of Power, the epic finale. This guide that we're going to be going over is going to be talking about the, well, this event, obviously, the new Android 17 and 18 that come with the event, the new Dokkan versions of 17 and 18 because they coincide with this event, and the Rebrienne. If you guys noted from yesterday's video, which I actually just recorded, um, I did the Vegeta Evolution card, the Jiren, the Topo, and the Dispo. So if you're interested in those cards that just came out, go ahead, check out that video. I did a whole a full card overview and all my hype that went along with it. Um, so go ahead, check that out if you want to. I will be doing a team building guide, by the way, of them at some point. I really want to get to them soon. So uh, hopefully we can get all that taken care of. Hopefully it's on Dokkan Battle Builder at some point soon as well. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this. This is what we already talked about. Dragon Ball Super Universe Survival Saga Tournament of Power, the epic finale. Um, really quick, we're just going to talk about the event. There are nine stages of this event, and it's really awesome. All this has to do with all the new cards and all their new Dokken Awakenings. So, level one, Battle of Love. The new Android 18 is there, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. You also get the Rebrian medals from this level, so you can go ahead and grind them out from there. This event's really awesome because when you go up against this event, you go up, you get Android 17 or Android 18 drops, and you get the Rebrian medal drops. Level two, Showdown. Just do it for the actual um, the, the, the Dragon Stones. That's it. Level 3, you get the Android 18 medals, which will Doken Awaken the Technique Android 18, um, so that way she gets her TUR form. Unfortunately, with these Doken Awakenings, they're not getting Fierce Battle, which it kind of stinks. I really wish they got Doken Awaken with Fierce Battle, but they don't. It's all right. Um, stage 4 and 5 are just regular stages. Get the Dragon Stones, level 6. Got a Destruction Topo Ascension. This is where you get your 17 cards, the free-to-play 17 cards. By the way, the 17 and 18s can be fed into the other Androids. So for those of you who've been like me, um, saving your cars, your SRs to feed into them, well, finally we have an event where we can grind them out. Hopefully um, we can, you know, I, I don't know what the drop rates are right now. Off the top of my head, I didn't actually look that up. I just thought of it now. Hopefully the drop rates aren't horrible so that way you can actually get some good drops and you can get like Super Attack 10 on all your androids. That would make things a lot easier. Uh, but level 6 is Android 17. Uh, 7 and 8 are just things. I mean, you could do level 8, I guess, so that way you can get some Hercule statue. That's pretty cool. Trading locations on 7 isn't bad either, so you, you know, keep that in mind when you're running it. Uh, level 9 is going to be Android 17 medals in order to Dokken Waken. But keep in mind, when with the Dokken Wakings, you need 10 of each Android 17 and Android 18 medal in order to Dokken Waken each individual one. So you need 20 medals total. And then for the rebrand, which I actually didn't look at, you're going to need 10 of her medals. So... Keep that in mind when, you, when you're grinding out this event. Um, let's see. Additional information. Characters, Universe Survival Saga category have increased transmit extra drop rate. So that's awesome. So if I can go ahead and get all my guys Dokken Awaken, which is definitely not going to happen, but if I can go ahead and get them all Dokken Awaken, it increases the drop rate. So that means you're, the 17s and 18s will be dropping a lot more often. So that's awesome. Um, it looks like we also have some mission rewards. Um, for Android 18, you could do Stage 1 on Z-Hard 10 times. You get a bunch. You get three Android 18s. Stage 3, clear Z-Hard 10 times, you get 3 Android 18 medals. Stage 6, is Z-Hard 10 times, you get 3 Android 17s. Uh, stage 9, Z-Hard 10 times, you get 3 Android 17 medals. Uh, level up Android 17 up to Super Attack level 10. You get 2 Dragon Stones and 3 uh, Younger Kai, Supreme Kais. And for 18, you get 2 Dragon Stones and 3 Elder Kais. So awesome events, awesome missions. Um, I'm, not pro I'm probably going to go do that. Not tonight, but I'm probably going to do that at some point. Um, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it's like crappy. I have I wake up. I'm good on six hours of sleep and I can do it before work tomorrow. Anyway, that's the event. That's really awesome. Free to play Android 17. His leader ability universe survival socket category. Key plus two HP attack and defense plus 40%. Super attack. Finishing blow. This causes supreme damage. Lowers attack. Um, let's see. Passive skill. Prepared tactic. Attack plus 10% per key orb obtained. High chance to steal the attacked enemy super attack for two turns. Link skills are Twin Terrors, Android Assault, Shocking Speed, Infinite Energy, Tournament of Power, Category Universe Survival Saga, so you can use him once you get at least one of him to increase your drop rates if you don't have a lot of Universe Survival Saga categories. Max stats are HP of 7313, Attack of 7288, and Defense of 3794, with a 12 key of 135%. Again, free to play, you can't really expect that much. Uh, in typical fashion, they gave Android 18 one additional key and 10% less on her leader ability. Um, super attack is supreme damage, enemy lowers attack. I think Android 17 is, yeah, low, they're both lower attack. Interesting, they usually give them exact opposites. Um, passive skill, devised tactic, de defense plus 10% per key or obtained. Medium chance to stun the enemy for two turns, which is pretty cool. 
Link skills are Android Assault, Twin Terrors, and Innocence, Battlefield Diva, Infinite Energy, and Tournament of Power. So she will link well with that 17. Categories are Universe Survival Saga and Peppy Gals. So she does have the Peppy Gals category. That's really awesome. It's actually going to be really useful for those of you who are lacking those for the Master Roshi drops. Those Roshi drops actually do come in handy when you're training up SSRs. Max stats are going to be HP of 7611, attack of 7050, and defense of 3944, with another 12 key of 135. Again, these guys don't doke and waken, but Android 18 and Android 17 can be fed into anyone who has the Android 17 or Android 18 title. So that's a lot of freaking units, um, including the two units we're going to be talking about here. Indomitable Resolve, Android 17, the leader ability, tech type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus, or HP and defense plus 70%. Uh, super attack, super electric strike, supreme damage, raises attack for 6 turns, and passive is rough ranger, attack and defense plus 50%, plus an additional 12% per tech orb obtained. We're going to skip all the other information and go down to 12 keys. we're going to talk about his Dokkan form. 12 key multiplier is 140%, raises attack for 6 turns as a 50% boost, and you could increase the super attack with the intelligence Android 17 as we stated earlier. You token awaken him with the 10 of Android 17 medals, 10 Android 18 medals, which we discussed earlier. He token awakens into quietly burning fighting spirit Android 17. Uh, leader ability is now tech type key plus 2 HP attack and defense plus 90. Per wow, 90%. Um, that's awesome. I just saw that for the first time. Um, that He's a really good leader. Uh, super attack, high power blitz, supreme damage, raises attack for 6 turns. Passive skill, family, trip, dream. Attack and defense plus 70%, wow. Plus an additional attack plus 15% and defense 10% per tech key orb obtained. He's actually really freaking good. Um, that's really not bad at all. I mean, 10% or 15% is, I mean, that, 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 that's actually really nice. Uh, two tech orbs and he's doing 100% attack. That's that's insane. And he increases his own attack by, for six turns. Damn. Um, link skills, Android Assault, Twin Terrors, Infinite Energy, Patrol, Shocking Speed, Tournament of Power, and Shattering the Limit. Wow. Wow, look at this key. I mean, he only, the only thing that's not key is Android Assault. Uh, Twin Terrors, that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Thir if you, I mean, I'm not saying you are, but you can literally get 13 key here. What the hell's wrong with this guy? <laughs> that is insane. Uh, category Universe Survival Saga. Max stats are going to be HP of as, uh, 8947, attack of 7599, and defense of 5376. Max base tube system of HP uh, 10947, attack of 9599, and defense of 7376. Um, 12 key multiplier of 140%, 50% attack buff on the raise attack for 6 turns. Um, honestly, I think doing dip system on this guy wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, he is a nuker, yeah, it sucks as it's just specific to tech key, but you have enough key orb manipulators where you could do that. And I mean, even so, two of these give him attack plus 100%. If you get his, um, at least base stoop system in, that's awesome. And then he gets a crit with that, you know what I'm saying? He gets a free chance to crit. Raising attack for six turns as well. Yeah, he's going to be doing some decent damage, this guy. Um, again, you can't do it to everything unless you're a whale, but that's something to keep in mind. Um, we're going to go ahead and talk about the Android 18 now. A sure thing, Android 18, leader ability, tech type key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Um, wow, that's interesting, a little bit lower than him. Um, well, I, oh, that's because she does all three and he only does two. Super attack, destructo disc, supreme damage, raises defense for by 30% for six turns. Uh, attack, her, let's see, passive skill, feeling for her family. Attack and defense plus 50%, changes physical to tech, so she will link very well with Android 17, obviously, for her link skills, but for the key orb manipulation, which will make her do really well, which will make him do really well. Uh, she gets an additional 12% per rainbow key orb obtained, which is, I guess it's all right. Um, I, think, I think she's more meant to be support for Android 17. If you have the two of them together, and like maybe one key orb manipulator uh, item, I think you're going to have a really fun team with those two. Uh, Link skills, Android Assault, Twin Terrors, Innocence, Battlefield, Diva, Infinite Energy, and Tournament Power. So yeah, he will be getting super attacks off all the time Link next to her, and there's no no doubt about that. Um, and the categories, Universe Survival Saga and Peppy Gals. They're on a Universe Survival Saga. Attack, def HP attack defense plus 150% with Android 17, or yeah, if Android 17 with those Link skills and her passive. There, he's going to be doing some decent freaking damage. I need to go on to a couple of YouTubers' videos and check them out. Uh, max stats are HP of 8385, attack of 7740, and defense of 4982. Uh, max base stoop system of HP of 11385, attack of 10740, and defense of 7982. I probably would not give her dupe system because it looks like she's literally just there for being a key orb manipulator for 17. Um, but I guess you could if you want to. But the only thing is she's never going to really do a lot. I think the most, if you get really lucky, which I have in the past, uh, is, what, five? 
So, so that's 60% attacks. That's 110% at your most lucky. Chances are you're only going to get one, maybe two of them. So that's 24%. So you're going to get like a 74% attack buff. Not worth it in my opinion. Plus a 12 key multiplier of 130%. Um, let's see, Shield Doken Awaken. Actually, well, we haven't talked about our Doken Awaken form, so let's see what happens here. Okay, actually, it's not bad. Uh, leader ability, tech type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 70%. Not bad for a 70% leader. Um, uh, super attack, Accelerator Dance. Supreme damage, raises defense by 30% for 6 turns. Uh, passive skill, strong love for the family, attack and defense plus 70%. So that's not bad. She's still a key orb manipulator. Attack uh, plus 12%, defense plus 7% for every key orb obtained. Huh. Okay, that changes things, because that means she's going to be really good for herself <laughs> uh, on top of Android 17, so it really depends on how you have them. I guess you could use either one of them, depending on what's going on. So if you're trying to tank, you're going to want to use Android 18. If you don't need to tank and you're trying to do damage and you use Android 17, they are a really good duo, actually, if you think about it. If uh, if the first slot's getting attacked most of the time, you can throw Android 18 in there, give her all the key orbs, and then she will be defending a little bit better than you know she normally would. So uh, keep that in mind when you're doing some team building. Maybe these two are going to work really well. And when I do a team building guide, I'll mention that there. Uh, link skills, again, everything is the same, except now they get Shattering the Limit. So it's an additional two key. So they will always be getting super attacks off. Categories, the same. Universe Survival Saga, Peppy Gals. Max stats, HP of 80, uh, 86, 68. Attack of 78, 97. Defense of 51, 43. Uh, max base dupe system, HP of 10, 6, 68. Attack of 98, 97. And defense of 71, 43. Um... 12 key is 140%. Free super attack 10. Um, I don't think she'd be that bad. And because of that, I mean, she's not going to be doing the same amount of damage as 17. Um, let's see. He is attack and defense plus 70%. She's attack and defense plus 70%. She does 12 per everything. He does 15. But she gets... Well, actually... Oh, wait a second. He gets defense plus 10%. Oh, but he is specific to tech. So, hmm. That is a very difficult decision on how you're going to want to run that. Because he'll actually be getting a better defensive buff as well. Um, really up to you, 17 just seems like he's better off getting the key, because she specifically does it to tech key orbs, he needs tech key orbs, so you're probably going to set her up for him, but up to you on how you want to run that, if you're all about Bay, go for it. <laughs> um, next one we're going to talk about is Rebrian, expression of the great love, Rebrian, leader ability is Peppy Gals category key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Uh, made in charge, supreme damage, enemy raises attack for three turns, passive skill, fight for love, attack and defense plus 60% uh, percent when performing a super attack, key plus one when key is raised with key spheres. Okay, so she's getting like the, I guess the LR Gohan thing when it comes to that, so she gets key plus one whenever key is raised, so I guess for every one orb she gets, she gets an additional key. Oh, uh, that's cool. Link skills are Battlefield Diva, Metamorphosis, interesting. The Innocence, Signature Perturbo Pose, More Than Meets the Eye, and Tournament of Power. Um, I guess, uh, she, uh, the Innocence, uh, the Innocence and Metamorphosis, I guess, are the two you're going to really want to focus on with her. Categories are Peppy Gals, Universe Survival Saga, and 12 Key is 130. She Doken Awakens with 10 of her own medals, again, from her event that we talked about earlier. Um, she Dokens into Infinite Love Rebrand Giant Form. Peppy Gal's leader and physical type key plus 2 HP attack and defense plus 70%. Not bad, actually. Uh, giant form's interesting. Supreme damage the enemy raises attack for 6 turns. Passive skill wrapped in love. Attack and defense plus 80% when performing a super attack. Wow. Peppy Gal's is becoming pretty pretty interesting. Key plus 1 when key is raised with key spheres. Great chance to turn giant up to 2 times. Okay, so she's going to be part of the giant category. Yes, she is. Link skills are all the same. She gets shattering the limit. Uh, Peppy Gals, Universe Survival Slug, and Giant Categories. Max stats are HP of 8854, attack of 8008, and defense of 4910. Max base stoop system is HP of 10854, attack of 10008, and defense of 6910. Um, only available on the JP version right now. 12 key is 140%. Raise attack for 6 turns is a 50% boost. When she goes into Giant Mode, oh, it's just like the Great Apes. She gets, uh, when she's maxed out, attack of 45,000. Um... That's really about it. She won't take any damage when she goes giant. I guess that's cool. I really don't want to run her. I really hate running Rebrand. I don't I don't like her. But um, there she is. So if, you know, Peppy Gal's category has become a little bit more viable with that really nice uh, attack or a leader ability. So that's pretty cool. Um, overall, again, I will be doing a full team building guide when I when it comes to when it comes out on the JP side. So once it's available, I will talk about all these units again. Um, I will probably just go over their leaders, uh, supers, and passives with that on that video. So if you guys are interested in that, stay tuned. That'll be coming out sometime during the week. 
But anyway, guys, thanks for joining me here today. That's just this video. Stay tuned. At some point, I'm going to be doing those easy A's that I've been talking about all last week and this week. <laughs> I promise, I swear. But anyway, guys, I'll catch, you, I'll catch you all down in the comments below. Peace.